Now, what is the difference between the law of variable proportion and the law of returns to scale? The first is the law of variable proportion operates under the short run. However, the law of returns to scale operates under the long run. We've already discussed this thing. But how do we define long run and short run? Short run is where only one factor is variable. However, long run is where all the factors are variable. So under the law of variable proportions, we could change only one factor. We could increase or decrease only one factor. However, under the law of returns to scale, we can change all the factors together at the same time. We can increase them or we can decrease them at the same time that is together. And the third and the last point of difference is in the law of variable proportion, there is a change in the factor proportion. That is one factor changes in relation to other factors. Now since because, uh, now since all the other factors are constant except for one factor, it is very easy to understand. It is very obvious that the proportion of the factors amongst themselves will change if I change only one factor of production. If I keep on changing or increasing labor, it is obvious that the proportion of factors employed amongst themselves will change. The land remains constant, the capital remains constant, the machinery employed remains constant. Only labor changes. So the proportion of land to labor, the proportion of machinery to labor, the proportion of capital to labor amongst themselves will change. However, when we come to the law of returns to scale, all the factors can be changed together. So what happens is all the factors are increased or decreased at the same time. So the proportion amongst the factors employed remains the same. However, what changes is the scale. And the change in scale means the increase or decrease in all the factors together. All the factors are increased at the same time. All the factors are decreased at the same time. This means the scale of inputs is changing. However, the proportion amongst them remains the same. This is not the case in the law of variable proportion. The proportion amongst the factors employed changes because only one factor is variable and all the other factors are constant. 